It doesn't make sense. Why? What's happened? Where is he now? Oh, it certainly is bad news. Keep me advised. <clears throat> it's worse than anything we imagined. Marling is dead, and the police say Martin killed him. Why, that's nonsense. After having saved his life a dozen times? Oh, Martin says a man named Blanker did it. But the police found a phonograph record of Martin's conversation with Marling just before he shot him, including the gunshot. The police arrested Martin, but he escaped in the police car and is trying to capture Blanker with the police right behind him. haven't brought the records with you. They're safely hidden. I'll tell you where after you give me the money I need. You will tell me before I give you the money. Delay is dangerous. If the police get me, they will also get the records. And I'm sure you would not like that. You seem to hold all the aces. Now, tell me where you have hidden them. In the safest possible place, the check room. A very clever hiding place. Certainly. Have you brought the claim check with you? And the jewelry? Of course. You will not need any money, Blanker. I'm sorry you did that, Trudy. I wanted to question him. Stay where you are with your hands up. What happened to you? I just shot the man who abducted Marling and caught the one who killed him. Well, I don't think you really believe I'm guilty, do you, Trudy? The police say they have proof. If I can search that man, I think I can prove they're wrong. Don't try to come in. Sorry, Trudy, I've got to search him. Not a very good shot, Trudy. And you forget that I know how to count. You fired three shots at Blanker and two at me. The gun's empty. I don't blame you for what you did, Trudy, if you're firmly convinced I'm guilty of murder and treason. I don't want to believe it, Jack. But we all love Marling, and I can't take a chance with treason. By the way, how did Blanker happen to come here? He brought some jewelry I ordered. Janet knows. That's right, Jack. It's a shame you had to shoot the man that killed Marling. He can't talk now, and he was one of the black samurai. He threatened me. So I pretended to get money from my purse where I had a gun, and I shot him before he killed me. This is what he brought you? Yes. Does this mean anything? It's a check room ticket. It'd be a perfect place to leave any incriminating evidence. It's a hundred to one, it won't help me, but anything's worth trying. Police, open up! Look, don't let them in until I'm well on my way. The door's locked and the key's gone. I'll open one of the other doors. Open up! Well, I guess we'll have to break it in. In this way. Hmm. Did Martin do this? No, I didn't. I heard Martin talking when we arrived. Where is he? He left when he heard you hammering.
We're stuck. He took our car and the keys to this one. Suppose you tell me who this is and why you killed him. His name is Blenker. He came to collect for some jewelry. He said he was leaving the islands tonight. I suspected he was wanted by you, so I hesitated. And he threatened me. Doesn't look so good for Jack. There must be some way we could help him. Yes? Jack! Well, are you sure that's wise? Well, we will if you want us to. Well, let's hope so. Goodbye. He says he wants us to bring the police to the boat where Marlene was murdered. He thinks he can prove he's innocent. Oh. He didn't say, but he seemed pretty sure. Coming along, Trudy? I don't think I'd better. He might not want me. Oh, Trudy, you must forget what happened last night. Jack would really be offended if he knew how you feel. All right, I'll get my things. This is the box that Blanca left at the check room. I opened it in front of the attendant so that I could verify its contents. If these papers are on the level, it'll run the Black Samurai out of Honolulu. But what about these phonograph records? These, I hope, will prove my innocence. Listen to this. For a moment, I thought my old eyes deceived me. If my conjecture is correct, I am face to face with Fräulein von Teufel. And I thought you were my friend. Surprised to find the Fräulein as a man, huh? Of all my friends, I think I would have suspected you last. I am truly sorry, Captain Martin. That's what comes from trusting people, Marling. Now I've got your secret, and after I get rid of you, I'm selling it to the nation, paying the most for it, whether the Black Samurai likes it or not. Thanks, Marling, and so long. Meantime, listen to what I really said to Marling. Return to Mando. Pass through the village. And Wait! You mustn't tell me. Anybody in that next room could overhear every word we speak. If you give it to me, I'll be dead by the morning, and the man that's secret will be in Tokyo. Let me go back to the low sand and tell him you sent me to get the secret. That will be best. But I must tell you one last thing. Well, that proves Jack didn't shoot him. Of course I didn't. As a matter of fact, the bullet that killed him was meant for me. Well, I admit it looks a little brighter for you, but what I want to know is how they got that other record of you, telling him you were going to let him have it. When you were here last night, did you notice this? Yes, but I didn't know what it was. Well, it's an elaboration on American invention. With it, you can use the record of any man's voice and reproduce that voice speaking with any words you care to substitute. Uh. Here, let me show you. Now, when I turn on this record, say anything you want to say, but don't speak out loud. Just mouth the words. Now that I have the Mandan secret, Marling, you are no more use to me, so I'll put you out of the way. That's enough. I'm sold. Does that mean Jack's free? Well, not exactly. You'll have to demonstrate this to the chief. Of course, that's a mere formality. You know how glad we all are, don't you? You better be. I hope I'm forgiven for last night. I'm leaving for Chungking tomorrow, and I'd hate to part bad friends. Leaving for Chungking without witnessing the signing of the Mandan Treaty? How can you have it signed now that Marling is dead? Well, Wu Tan automatically becomes his successor. Well, you've got to stay, Trudy. Well, naturally, if the pact is to be signed. While you people go to police headquarters, I've got to get this part of the story on the way. <laughs> Vincent. 
Martin has murdered Marling. We can use that to convince the Mandanese. It is we who are their real friends. Of course. Have an agent fly the news to Mandan and demand the release of their Japanese prisoners. Shall I have him bring out their prisoners? No. Have him stay there with them. They can act as our agents. And by the way, another thing. Tell him to take along a portable shortwave set so we can keep in touch with them. By accession to this seal, through the death of my friend and master, Ma Ling, I am empowered to sign for Mandon. We are now prepared to receive the secret of Mandon. Yes? A cablegram has just been delivered for Captain Wake. Uh, bring it in. Thank you. If you'll permit me? Certainly. This concerns us all. It's from General Kai Ling. Mandon has heard the story of Ma Ling's death at Captain Martin's hands. They repudiate their treaty and order Wu Tan to return and show cause why they should not give the secret route to the Japanese. But Martin has been exonerated. I'll cable Mandan. Mandan is an isolated province. There is no telegraph. The quickest means of communication is by plane. Well, I guess that leaves it squarely up to me. I'll have to fly you back to Mandan and prove my innocence in your courts. Isn't that risky? How can you be sure that you can convince them? Same way I convinced the police here. I have the original record at my hotel. When the Losan hears it, you will know the truth. And with the testimony of the rest of your party, that ought to be conclusive. Unfortunately, I've been ordered back to Chongqing by General Kai Ling. I'm sorry, but my boss has ordered me back, too. He says I've taken too long on this story as it is. I think Tommy and I can verify Jack's story. Nothing doing, Janet. No use of you two risking your neck because I have to. But Jack... Sorry, Tommy, I got into this alone. That's the way I'll get out of it. You and Janet better go back to Chongqing with Wing. How soon can you arrange a plane for me? You're practically on your way to Mandan now. Honolulu. Two days late by the date. Two days late. Where would our Fräulein's plans be now if I had not ordered our envoy to take a radio with him when he flew into Mandan? Contact Kushimi in Mandan, quickly. TBS calling Mandan. TBS calling Mandon. TBS calling Mandon. TBS calling Mandon. Come in, Mandon. Mandon answering TBS. Go ahead, TBS. Kageyama speaking. Martin is flying to Mandon with treaty signed by United Nations. He may prove to Losan he did not kill Ma Ling. If our envoy intercept him in plane and make sure he does not reach Mandon. It shall be done at... One moment, please. The plane is circling to land. It may be Martin. Maybe, you fool, it must be. Go to the Lord's Han at once. If he believes Martin's story, kill him. Japan cannot have the Mandan secret. That will stop China from getting it. We must act quickly. It is good to be home once more. It may be good for you, but if this record doesn't convince the Low San, it won't be so good for me. The Low San will be convinced. I have heard the record. I welcome the coming of the new governor to his people. I am grateful, Your Holiness. But I did not expect to find you with the enemies of Mandon. And I did not expect to find you with the murderer of Ma Ling. He did not kill Ma Ling. He came here to stand trial in our court, to prove the Japanese bore false witness against him. He has come to deceive you, as he did Ma Ling and Bhutan. When I feel your opinion is of value, I shall ask for it. Did he bring proof? Conclusive proof, Your Highness. 
The black samurai killed Ma Ling and manufactured evidence to throw the blame on me. But there was a record made that tells the true story. A record? The Occidentals have a device for catching and holding sound forever. On this are recorded the last words of Ma Ling as he died in my arms. If my conjecture is correct, I am face to face with Fräulein von Teufel. This isn't the record. The Japanese must have stolen it and replaced it with this. It was Ma Ling speaking. Let me hear the rest of it. But this is the record manufactured to prove Captain Martin guilty. It was the record he brought as proof. Let him submit it. Continue. Surprised to find the Fräulein's a man, huh? Of all my friends, I think I would have suspected you last. I am truly sorry, Captain Martin. That's what comes from trusting people, Marling. Now I've got your secret. And after I get rid of you, I'm selling it to the nation, paying the most for it, whether the Black Samurai likes it or not. Thanks, Marling, and so long. Does your highness require further proof? After what I have heard, do you still deny your guilt? I certainly do. When a man protests his innocence, Mandon law cannot punish him. But he must undergo the Mandon ordeal. If he comes through alive, he is free. For he has proved his innocence. Is there any chance of my coming through alive? For one who is not of our faith, the chances are very remote. And if I refuse to submit, the penalty is death. All right, I'll submit to your ordeal under one condition. And that is, if I don't survive, you will give the Mandan secret to China. Your Highness, would the murderer of Ma Ling make such a request? It seems improbable. A clever man, however guilty, might make such a request, knowing it would suggest his innocence. I cannot forget the record. You must undergo the ordeal without reservation. I shall hold you responsible for the prisoner until tomorrow. Just what is the ordeal? There will be plenty of time to explain that to you before tomorrow. ordeal if you will confess your guilt. I did not kill Ma Ling. I find myself praying this test will prove your words are true. Thanks. You can halt at any point by admitting your guilt. confess. There's not much time left. Confess. There's more time than I need. I did not kill Ma 
No. I've just come from Wing. All we know is that Jack and Wu-Tan arrived safely in Manta. I wish we'd gone with him instead of coming back here to Chungking. So do I. That's Wing now. Hello? Oh. oh. It's Trudy. No. Yes. Well, Wing will call me the moment he gets Jack's report. Well, when will we be seeing you? I'm stuck at the office, eh? Yes, I'm still at the office. I'll see you as soon as I can get away. Well, that's a comfort. They haven't been able to get Mandan either. If you had sent a cablegram to me soon... That message was two days late because of a little matter of a war, which I'm not running. Nothing yet. TBS calling Mandan. TBS calling Mandan. TBS calling Mandan. TBS calling Mandan. Come in, Mandan. Mandan answering. TBS. Go ahead, please. This is Fräulein von Teufel. Why doesn't somebody stay by that radio? Report on Captain Martin. Oh, very sorry. Very happy. Lausanne believe Captain Martin murdered governor. He made Captain Martin take test by fire. If Captain Martin passed test, Lausanne believe him no do. Kushimi ready to stop same. Three. <laughs> There's not much time left to confess. There's more time than I need. I did not kill Ma Ling. Japanese cannot defy the ancient man Dong God of kindness. Before you leave, friend of Man Dong, come to me, and I shall tell the Man Dong secret to you. Thank you, Your Eminence, for China and her allies. In Man Dong, the guilty must also walk across the fire burn away their sins before they are executed. Wu-Tang, stop. 
I want to thank you for teaching me how to walk across the fire and for stopping Kushimi. I was only an instrument in preventing murder. Thank the God of justice, not me. As for the ordeal by fire, we have found that the guilty cannot meet the accusing gaze of the Lausanne. They drop their eyes. When they see the fire, they feel it burn, break the rhythm of their steps, and so are lost, as these are sure to be. Wait a minute, Wu-Tan. Kushimi's an agent for Fräulein von Teufel. Uh, what do you say I take him to his quarters and question him? All right, Kushimi, let's go. Well, it really looks as if Captain Martin has been taken care of this time. Jack Martin, calling Fräulein von Teufel. Are you there, Fräulein? Captain Martin has won another round. Tell him so, Hito. Congratulations, Captain Martin. Kagiyama, du bist wunderlich. Find out what Captain Martin wants. Are you all listening, Captain Martin? Fräulein von Teufel will not speak to you, but she's here. Good. All right, Kushimi. You saw that pit of fire out there, and you know you can't walk through it as I did. Now, you're going to die, but you won't have to go through that fire. If you tell me the real name of Fräulein von Teufel. Who is she? How about my friends here? Please. Well, they won't have to either. That is, if Wu-Tan can arrange it. In this case, yes. All right, Koshimi, what do you say? Very well. I do not fear torture or death for the Emperor. But Fräulein von Teufel is not Japanese, not black samurai. Her name is... Kushimi, what's your name? Tell me the Fräulein's name. What's her name? We not know Fräulein, and the traitor is dead. Well, that's that. Now there's only one thing to do, and that's take the man in secret straight to Shun King. All right, Fräulein, we both win. Why did you let Fräulein von Teufel know what you intend to do? I didn't. Even if the Fräulein does intercept me before I get to Shun King, she won't find the man in secret on me. Doing what no Mandarinese before me has ever done, Captain Martin. I'm drawing a chart of the secret route from India to China. A road which has always existed. Only two Mandarinese at any one time have ever known it. Now I alone know it. And I tell it solely because I am convinced it will save China. And China's allies as well, Your Eminence. For should China fall, it's possible the world of four freedoms should also fall. Jack Martin calling GHQ. Jack Martin calling GHQ. Come in, please. answering Jack Martin, come in, please. Jack Martin on bearings for rendezvous with escort. America Volunteer Group planes left Shonking on schedule. Should be on bearings. The Flying Tigers? Boy, what an escort. necessary, Captain Martin? No, sir. And here it is. It's in invisible ink. You are taking no chances, Captain Martin? Not if I could help it, sir. Not with the Black Samurai wanting that chart. There are reasons why you should know about this. I will send Captain Wing for you later. And now, uh, will you excuse me? Get me the Office of General Staff, please. Hello? General Kai Ling speaking. Summon the staff. I am able to explain the Mandan route to India at last. All aboard that's going aboard. I'll see you later when I come back for Jack. 
I've got to get this story on the wire. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay, pile in, everybody. Again, Fräulein von Teufel has failed. Already Chan King knows that Captain Martin has delivered the Mandan secret to General Kai Ling. It also knows that Martin arrived safely because your Jap planes were afraid to attack his AVG escort. But you don't know that General Kai Ling intends to tell the secret to Captain Martin. And I intend to make the captain tell it to me. Have you heard from Air Force Control yet? Yes, good news. Many more planes have arrived. They are to strike in one hour and one half. The AVG will be destroyed. Order them to bomb our headquarters here. Our headquarters? But why? The less you know, the more chance I have to succeed. Kito, come with me. Are you sure about the time set for the bombing? What I'm going to do depends on it. The time is set, Flora. In one hour and one half, these buildings will be rubbish. TBS calling Air Force Control. TBS calling Air Force Control. Come in, please. Air Force Control answering. TBS. Come in, please. Kageyama speaking. Bomb TBS. Location marked on your maps. Start raid one hour from now instead of one hour and a half. Come in, please. Uh, we'll have to check about time change. Wait, please. Air Force Control agrees. Radar chunking starts in one hour exactly. Do you understand, Hito? Oh, yes, Brace. Good. But be sure about the camera and hurry. We can only strike while Captain Martin is with General Kai Ling. There is no ink on this paper. I have tried every method to develop it. Yes, I know, sir. It's only a blank piece of paper. You see, I told you the chart was on it so that the others present would think I'd given you the secret. A very wise precaution. May I have the chart now, please? I haven't got it, sir. I was only acting as a decoy to mislead the Black Samurai. Then who is bringing the real chart? Only you and I know this, sir. Wu-Tan is bringing the chart. And he's coming by the regular caravan route. You should have been Chinese, Captain Martin. Excuse me. Yes? Oh, yes. Uh, for you, Captain Martin. Thank you. Hello? Oh, hello, Trudy. What? Oh, what happened? It's no good talking about it over the phone, Jack. You've got to come here. And please, hurry. All right. All right, I'll be right there. Something's happened to Miss Miller, sir. She sounds hysterical. I'd better go to her. Uh, by all means. Thank you, sir. I thought you'd never get here. The Black Samurais abducted Janet, Wing, and Tommy. Abducted them? You must have made a mistake. Have you searched the house? Oh, it's no use searching, Jack. That picture on the table tells the whole story. They must have left it so we'd know. You don't seem surprised. I'm not. I suspected you from the time you killed that woman on the clipper and tried to make it look like suicide. If you're so clever, then you must know that I tried twice to kill you. I did. And why didn't you have me arrested? What I knew and what I could prove were two different things. Now I have enough proof. You will never have a chance to use it. Perhaps not. Now will you tell me why you abducted my friends? To trade them to you for the Mandan secret? Well, I made a mistake in not protecting them better. But you've also made a mistake. Now, why don't you put that gun down? You don't dare shoot. You'd lose your only chance to get the secret. Put that gun down. Now, for your information, I don't know the man in the secret. I've never had the chart, and the paper I gave General Kai Ling was a fake. Now, move over toward that phone. 
I'm going to call the police to take care of you. And soldiers to search for Tommy and Janet and Wing. Put down that telephone. Drop that gun. Now move back from same, Captain Martin. Knowing me, you should have remembered that I am usually prepared for emergencies. Now we will visit your friends. Whether you reach them alive depends on whether you try to get help from the soldiers on the street. So it is unfortunate for me that you know so little about the Mandan secret. And it is even more unfortunate for you that you know so much about me. They will have to stay here a little while. About one half hour, please? Yes. The regular guards, you sent them away? Yes. You order same. I keep watch upstairs. Well, you can thank me for this. Oh, nonsense. It was Trudy's fault. Yes, but if Martin hasn't got the secret, at least he knows who does have it. So do I. There is only one person he and the Lausanne would trust. Who time? Certainly. And that means Wutan is bringing it by the caravan route. Very interesting, but how about those people in there? Why do you think I ordered our planes to bomb this place? I just wish to be very sure, so that an ambush of Wutan cannot fail. It won't. you here. Victims of air raids are commonplace, and the Black Samurai does not need your services any longer, Fräulein. Get that robe and tie her to the post. Stone to your memory with an iron cross embedded in it. Thank you, my friend. But why, priest? Because you and I, Hito, are going to ambush Wu Tan on the caravan route. And you and I are going to take the secret away from him. And you and I. Slight correction, please. I take secret. Win promotion. Japs are so polite, so honorable. Oh, yes. Cannot be otherwise. We Japanese learn from Germans. Trifle. Devil. on a pretty sight. Here's a really gives us a chance. Well, there it is, and so simple. Once you know the entrance to Mandan Road, you could never mistake it. And a very practical route, too. 
It can be destroyed for defense if necessary, and we'll make a magnificent highway. China will make it so. I'll say. I'm very proud I had a part in it. Well, I guess now I can go look up a U.S. recruiting station. That will not be necessary, Captain Martin. I have your United States Commission here. My commission? But I, I, I don't understand, sir. You are to go to Mandon. Captain Wing and Captain Thompson go as your aides. But, but I still don't understand. At my request, you have been put in charge of the new route to India for the United Nations. United Nations, United Friends. I wish I'd thought of that, old boy. Can I join up for the duration, too? Janet, where we go, you go. Thank you, Jack. General Carling, as long as I'm going along, too, could I get a peek at that map? A large force is on its way to protect construction. I am sorry, Miss Thompson, but until it arrives, the entrance to Mandan Road must remain a military secret. <laughs>